Good afternoon from the Indian Gate. This is the closest we're gonna get. It's kind of what everybody's doing. I don't know if it's not quite open yet or what, but we can't go inside. I was hoping to get inside even closer. Um, so what we got today is we're going to a very nice hotel. We're about a 20 minute walk from it. Just wanna come here and start at this great monument and say happy Independence Day. A belated happy Independence Day to India. Happened about a week ago. I can only imagine what this place was like a little while ago. Look at everybody. Pictures and everything. This is as close as we're gonna get today. And if you come down here, you have to be ready. Ear cleaning, photos, tuk-tuks, lots of stuff. Let's not walk through her photo. Um, but we are head to the hotel. We're about a 20 minute walk away. So we're gonna head down there to the Taj Mahal Hotel. Five star, really excited. See everybody coming out here, bearing the Delhi heat and getting some photos. I must say the amount of workers they have just cleaning up the place is pretty impressive and it looks nice. I would have loved to get out there, get a green space. There's not any trash inside the park. There's some outside, but on the inside it is just like clean, spotless. They're always tidying things up a little bit. Okay, so we got a little back street here. It's supposed to have lots of chop and things like that. So I want to get back here and get a little something. I am hungry today. Oh, look at this. And we actually got chai, I think, with the like little clay pots. I'm gonna stay by. I'm gonna stay by. Wow, they got lots of food here. Hey, Lussie. Lussie. Do you have chai? Lussie. Do you have chai? Chai chai? A cup chai, DJ. Oh, see, I think these are for the chai and this is for the Lussie here. How's the Lussie? Is it good? Yes, very yes. good. Very nice. Very well. nice for health. Nice for health and nice for heat. It is so hot today. That Delhi heat, man. It's so hot. Egg. G, G, G. Are you a vlogger? Yeah, 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 I am. Here is another vlogger. Very famous vlogger? Yeah. What's your name, man? What's your name? Mr. Vivek. Mr. Vivek? Vivek. 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 Nice to meet you, Vivek. Yes. Okay. Let's yeah, get a picture. You, you have a good opportunity to collab with an Indian vlogger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's your name? As Max. Nice to meet you. Enjoy your food. My pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. Enjoy the rest of your day. Can we take one selfie? Of course. Of course. Perfect. Ah. Wow. Thank you, bye. Perfect. Bro, this is from our side. Oh, yeah. Very good. We will pay for this. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This vlog, our uh, photo will be come on or not? Uh, your photo? I don't have your photo, but I'll have video. Video? I'll have this the video. Photo, this video will uh, go? Maybe two to three weeks. Yeah. Because yeah. we I have see, lots of videos, see, Delhi. Huh? We yeah, you can see. see. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Huh? Mm. Uh, first child of the day, finally. So late in the day. We got a late start today. Oh, all right. We are paid up. It goes to Big Bro over here. 20 rupees for chai. Pretty common. Thank you. Uh, nice meeting all the vloggers and everybody. But actually the famous chop place is down here. The, uh, the guys were telling me though, it's kind of a higher price, which I'm okay with because if it's popular, like I still want to try it. Got some water here. Come on down here. This is the spot. I think this is the spot that's famous right here. 1935, We've got monkeys crawling in the background. Wow. Namaste, bye. So right here, frying up some little balls. He's stuffing them and throw them in here. I think this place is really famous. Is it very famous? Is it very, since 1935? Yeah. 1935, okay. Have you eaten here before? Okay. Night, first time? Yeah. Okay. I'm curious. Which uh, which did you order? Uh, aloo tiki. What is it? Aloo tiki. Aloo tiki. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Can I have it? Yeah, buy an egg. Aloo tiki. Ah, okay. Perfect. Ah, I can see your aloo tiki. 
alu tiki. Uh, Baya egg uh, egg plate alu tiki DJ. And I pay here. Okay, you come down here to pay. Namaste, bye. Yes. Uh, egg plate alu tiki DJ. Egg plate alu tiki. All. Yes. All. Yes. Yeah. yes. All. Mas. Yes. Kulfi. Yes. Kulfi. Kulfi. We'll do one kulfi. Egg kulfi. Egg kulfi egg tiki. Yes. One tiki. One kulfi. One forty. Okay. How much? 140. 140, okay. 140 rupees. Perfect. Indian currency, yes, rupee. Indian currency. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> you know, I'm very slow. <laughs> there you go, 150. Keep the change. Uh, dollar, dollar. No, no problem. I'll take. This is me. Uh, right here. One egg, here, dikki. Mm. Here, alucha. Oh, kulfi, kulfi, kulfi. Kulfi. 10 rupees. You keep for you. You're, you're a nice man. No, no, no. Okay, no, okay. No, no, no. You win. Indian dollar. Okay, Indian dollar. <laughs> Thank you, bye. Yes, yes. Ah, okay, starting to get it figured out now. So you go down there, you order, then you come down here. You go, bye. Alutiki, kulfi. It's a hot day, so we'll get some kulfi. Some, I do believe it's rice porridge, but it'd be nice and cold. So look, they initially fry them, I think. Then they pull them back out. He's going to smash and then put them in again. And they do all different types of actual chop here. Uh, I'm just going with what the other people got because I think they know a lot better than me. But he's got all kinds of stuff right here, like fried crackers. That's going on with just a plethora of stuff over here. And then that spicy water. Ooh, that looks good. Looks like he's got like dolls down here. Yeah, what a doll. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, mm. oh, roast. Oh, Okay. Oh, roast. <laughs> Hindi fail. Kanda hmm? Kanda 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 America 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 uh, America uh, understood <laughs> and load it up cut them up load them up thank you Baya now the hardest part in India eating with a camera okay he wants to talk more let's go a hey, video wala uh, YouTube. Uh, yeah, YouTube. Max. My name, Max. How? Yes. Uh, thank you, Maya. Okay. I have no clue where to sit this down at. Max, yes. I will show you later. Let's find somewhere to put this on top of the water. Okay, we're going on top of the water jug here. Perfect. Here it is. The alu tikka. Almost like a potato patty. Fried up. And then they put all the masala and everything. Don't worry, this will pop back in. Let's get a plate piece. This looks great. Looks like almost like chickpea. A nice mixture. A lot of like cumin in that chickpea mixture. Mashing it, I guess around potato flour and frying it up and then putting yogurt, onion, mint chutney, and tamarind chutney. Oh man. Hmm. I feel like so chaat is just like snacks in India. And while the if they have an array of types you can pick from, this may be the chaat I've been missing in my life. The goal in India to always come back and find a new type of chaat and this may be one of my favorites mm. for me this just tastes like something my mother would make when she takes we call them home fries we cut potatoes small cubes you put them in the cast iron skillet and they get nice and crunchy they're soft they're sweet on the inside it's exactly what's happened here except sorry instead of ketchup we got a whole lot of flavor packed here I can't even tell y'all this right here be hitting all my taste buds 
all the feelings. Got me bringing a smile to my face. Got me starting to sway back and forth again. Mm. It's just a pure beauty of chot as well. Sometimes you hit more of the mint chutney. Sometimes you hit that tamarind, that sour sweet. Be rocking your taste buds. It's creamy, delicious with the yogurt. Yay or nay? Good? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Man, dude, it hits the spot. No, nah, bro. Hey, no spice is not good. We love the spice. America, brother. Yeah. Hey, thank you for the recommendation. No problem. So delicious. It's the people of Delhi that actually make Delhi worth coming back for, man. The smiles, the recommendations, the talking to me, everything I need and make my experience one of a kind. Mm. You know, tell me you're a tourist without telling me you're a tourist. I got all the sauce dripping down my hand right now. I am an amateur. I know they said the price was kind of high over there. 70 rupees for this plate. But you get two huge potato patties. This is one of the bigger servings of chop I've had. So good. Locals laugh at me because, you know, for people around here, this is normal flavor. But to me, this is like rocking my taste buds. Just check that out. Everything mixed up. Get it all together. Kind of trying to get everybody as uniform as possible. And they, some experts, because you notice the one thing that I don't think many people would notice, they didn't give me the coffee right away. They're gonna let me finish this and then they're gonna give me the coffee. I appreciate that. I need that help. I know y'all's mouths be watering. I know you'd be wanting a bite now. Look at that. Mm. I could take about three or four more plates of that. Mm. It's coffee time though. When they ready now, they got it lined up, ready to go. So this is where the kopi wala. This faluda kopi. Oh, uh, faluda kopi. Yeah. Okay, very nice. So a specific type of kopi here, Indian ice cream. I need something to cool me off. Hot day in Delhi. This kopi. Will be with dry fruit. Dry fruit. Yeah. Uh, let's see, pistachio. Hey, I'm stupid out there. <coughs> this faluda. Oh, that's the faluda. Looks like noodle. Oh wow, looks like a rice noodle. What is this? This kevla. Okay. I have no clue. This is a rose. I know this is rose. I don't know the first one. Very fragrant. That's a lot of rose. Okay, thank you, bye. Oh, it's nice and cool. We'll head back to my spot. I'll go back over here to my spot. <laughs> Check it out though. It's so, it's melting already. The actual kopi, the ice cream, the Indian ice cream. Did I say something about rice pudding earlier? I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. I'm thinking of gear. Uh, my bad, Just ignore me. <laughs> Says you're a food blogger. Get so much wrong. I'm the dumbest food blogger out there, y'all. I like to be the idiot. I just like to go around and ask questions and be intrigued and have fun. This really is like a rice noodle. Oh, pistachio almond. Mm, the big chunks in there too. It's not a rice noodle. It actually just breaks apart and dissolves in your mouth a little bit more. I've almost got like a uh, a kulfi noodle soup here. Mm. And the kulfi's where it at. Actually, he could have just gave me that little tube and I would have taken that and walked off with it. I don't need the noodles or all the other stuff. The kulfi 
is a hit by itself. I mean, I just want to try to get the ice cream before it melts. I guess I'm just gonna, gonna soup it. I'm very full. So good. One bowl. Yeah. One bowl? One bowl. Photo, photo. Oh, okay, yeah. Photo, photo. Photo, photo, okay. Photo. Let's do it. Hey, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Owner wants a photo, so we're going to get them all here, all of us together. Okay. Baya, my okay. pleasure. Thank you. My pleasure. Good, good, good. One more, one more. Okay. okay. Thank, you, thank, you, thank, you. thank you, Baya. Bye bye. Very good. I will also buy a water from you. Next, Bismillah. Okay, I will come back. No, <laughs> no. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Baya. Okay. Come back in. Take it, take it. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah. You say it's expensive, but then you get there, and if you just get there and talk to the people, to me, like, it's about getting in there and interacting, and that's one of the best reactions I've ever had. I just. They're happy to have me there and I am grateful to get the opportunity to be with them. And he gave me the water for free, which I'm gonna need. So we're onward to the hotel. There it is. I'm extremely early. It's so bright. So it's sad my glasses is broke. My sunglasses is broke. It's early. I can't check in, but I'm gonna see if I can at least go get out the heat. Uh, I'm actually going right here. Inside. Yeah, here. going right here. You're staying here? Yes, thank you. Uh, where are you from, sir? You're pretty from, like me? I know, very good. <laughs> you have much longer beard than me, though. I'm from America. Oh. Yeah. When did you arrive in India, sir? Uh, three or four days ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Okay, sir. Have a nice uh, day, buddy. You too. Yes. All right. No entry. Let's go. Namaste by uh, check-in here. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So I read on the thing they were doing construction. I didn't know it was going to be construction like this. Oh no. I didn't realize like half the building <laughs> was going to be under construction. Maybe that's why it wasn't that expensive. That's my fault. Took the chance. Uh, I'm going to have to scan bags, I think. Back here? Okay. I guess it goes in here. Uh, namaste, bye. Here. A little wet, sorry. You want little bag too? No problem. Through here? Very nice curtain. Thank you, boss. Thank you, bye. Oh. Is check in right here? Oh, over here. Okay, let's get checked in. My gosh, it's freezing in here. Y'all busy? Right, that's good. Man, everybody is dressed so nice in here. Oh, so I'm okay. <laughs> Are we ready? <laughs> okay. Okay. So you can let me know if you're comfortable in this room. Yeah. We can continue in this room. However, we have a king bed room also available for you. Okay. Whichever you would like that. So I'll just show this one to you. Okay. You can also comfortable in this as well. Okay. And as soon as the king one is ready, I'll get you. Oh man. Service is out the top here. Dang, just, bro. Just like to also let you know the hotel is going under renovation, sir. I saw it. <laughs> so between 9 and 7, that's taking place. It's cool. When I booked it, it said it was going on, so no big deal. I'm, I'll be your easiest customer today. <laughs> and your name is Vishwit? Vishwit, yes, sir. Very nice.
this is the double bed. Yes, yeah, so this is two separate beds, but it's comfortable for one person. Right, yeah, definitely However, comfortable. we're getting a king bed ready as we speak as well. The okay. only difference will be on a two levels lower uh -huh. and be facing the pool side. Okay, what do you recommend? Both are here fantastic rooms, sir. Oh, come on, you can give me the truth. What do you recommend? Sir, what happens is a little uh, the renovation is taking place on the first and second floor. Okay. So the more away you're from, away, okay. the better it is. Then I will take this. Are you sure, sir? Yes, because perfect. we can get the king as well. No, it's perfect. Less work for y'all. No, no, sir. That, <laughs> that is not a worry at all. It will work. It is for what a good guy. I gotta take my shoes off. I feel gross in here with my shoes on. But it's all carpet right here. Look at that color. I really like this color. It's kind of like a red, like a dark red with some brown in it. Okay. I'll show you the bathroom, but then I'm gonna shower and show you the room. Nice full length mirror right here. Checking it out. This is lovely. Oh, look at this. We're gonna have a party in here. Ooh, shower party. Let's go. I've never seen this. That is amazing. Oh, I just need some, I need some tunes. I need some Indian tunes going on here, man. I love this. I have neon changing lights in my shower. I mean, it is clean. It is sleek. Hair conditioner, shower gel. It's just so nice and clean. I'm sure the water pressure is good and everything. It's gonna be a quick one through the bathroom because I really want to shower. Oh, y'all, 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 y'all. We got like a, it's like a three and a quarter, three and a half. That's not, that's not bad. Dermabit, I don't know that brand. Service in case you need something, bum gun ready to go. And then for all the ladies in here, you know, you probably need this. I don't know how you ladies do it. When I look in this and I see myself, my face up close, I think, I think that's, that's going to do better turning that way. <laughs> I don't like to see myself like that. And it's just gorgeous. Big mirror, lots of amenities, toothpaste, toothbrush. Great. And a scale. Let's see how much I weigh after a couple days in Delhi. Oh, there we go. 82.3 kilos. Oh man. I was <laughs> I was under 80 kilos before I came to India. <gasps> this is the nicest robe I think I've ever can y'all hear that softness? Incredible. Okay, yeah, I'm about to I'm about to shower it up, robe it up, and we'll show you the rest. How are you today? Good, sir. Thank you so much. On the place here? Yeah, right there's perfect. Y'all seem busy today. Very <laughs> Okay, chai and cookies. Yes, sir. Homemade cookies. Thank you, Baya. Thank you. I haven't even gotten to my shower yet because I knew this was coming. That uh, chai? Cookies. He said they were homemade. What is this? Ooh, more chai. These kind of look like the cookies I had on the streets in uh, close to Chandi Chok. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's like, you know when you buy the tin, like the big tin containers when you ever travel countries, you give it to family? It's like those, it's a butter cookie, but they got little caramelized little sugar bits on it as well, so it's a little bit gooey, kind of like a caramel. Mm. Gotta get that cool, gotta get that air. Oh, my, my hand's burning. <laughs> Burn my hand. Mm. Okay, there we go. I feel like a new man, a clean, fresh, new man. Now, first off, the view, look at this. Got the city view, could have had the king bed with the pool view, but I wouldn't mind seeing the city. Look at the beautiful buildings over here. Maybe you can't see them too well, but wow. When you get up high, like you really realize, Delhi, it really is the green city. I mean, 
it, it, it's definitely hot, but when you get out in the outskirts of it and you get in the, where all the trees are, so not over there, but over here, God, you just really realize the blessing trees are. It's cool, there's nice wind, it's really comfortable. But here it is, got the double bed, no big deal. Just, you know, maybe tonight sleep here, tomorrow sleep there. I don't have to make my bed. Uh, what do we got here? Nice outlets. Uh, you got the USB, everything. It's just so clean, so tidy. A welcome letter. <laughs> Still wrapped in plastic. Big old TV screens where I had my chai earlier. A working area. This working desk. So nice. I can fit my, my legs up under here real nice. Already been doing some work in here. They got a letter for me to keep all my stuff. They got like hand cleaner. I got mask in here. Still sticking. India's been really great because I think the only place that's really required to wear masks is in the metro and still people don't wear them too much, but pretty much COVID's over. It's passed. Uh, it's a lot of fun here. A lot of handshaking, a lot of coming out and meeting. Other than that, uh, we'll check out the food in a little bit. We'll check out the Wi-Fi. Sorry, I've already made a mess and made myself home, I guess you could say. Um, I'm just really happy with this room. Lots of stuff for tea and water, complimentary, I do believe. This is actually a little bit cool from staying in here. Uh, it's kind of amazing they brought you this because you have all this. feels a little excessive how much, almost, which I guess is good if it's a five-star hotel. Things to snack on, wine glasses. Is there a fridge that, wow, look at that bar, that mini bar here. Ooh, that red label. The vodka, I could just go for a, that right there. A type of Kingfisher, I don't know, we're gonna have to crack that open later. We're going to the cocktail bar, happy hour. We're going to happy hour later. I don't know what this is, brown ale, okay. Chilled glasses, I admit that is some detail right there. That is some, I don't know if I've ever seen the chilled glasses before. That may be a first for me. Last thing. Just closet space. Nice, got plenty of it. Iron, everything. Got my clothes for the nice dinner at Indian Accent tomorrow, which should be a link here. I'm gonna make a Facebook reel at it because uh, you can't video, so I'm gonna use my phone and make a nice Facebook reel to show y'all what the number one rated restaurant in India is like, because I am curious myself. Let's check out the Wi-Fi. 28.88. Uh, download and 11.5 upload. I don't think I have too much to upload, so I'll just be watching some Netflix. One thing I really appreciate about India is big readers. So if you go to a cafe, like they always give you a newspaper at the table. If you go eat, go eat. If you go drink chai, you usually have newspapers too. And even here, you can scan this QR code and get 5,000 digital magazines and newspapers. Big readers here, and I, I appreciate that, and I like that. I've downloaded the menu already. You can get a breakfast selection, we have it. 800 rupees, 800 rupees. Just trying to give you a idea of the prices here. If you go down here, in-room dining, 725. Caesar salad is 1,100, wow. Chicken burger, 1,200 rupees. Continental, 1,600. Wow, grilled Pacific salmon, 2,200. Indian food. 1500 So yeah, pretty expensive. But luckily, I use an American Express card. This is one of the hotels that works with American Express, so that's why I got this room upgrade. I got early check-in, I got late checkout. And all my little benefits, they let you know here. We also got breakfast, we got dinner, we got tea time, we got cocktail, happy hour, all on the house. So we'll, we're gonna enjoy all those things together. Okay, here we are, eighth floor, Taj Club for high tea. Nobody at the desk. Just walk in here. I guess this is it right here. Oh, look at all the little sandwiches and everything. Non-veg on this side, veg on that side. Non-veg and veg. 
Sounds good. I think this is the sweet stuff down here. Oh yeah, you got all the teas, coffees. And this is where I'm gonna be hanging out. Look at the sweets. Banana bread, forest berry, gâteau, gâteau. Sorry, I'm not French. Tiramisu, chocolate cake, and cookies. Are these for display or can I eat these? Ooh, that's like the one I had in my room, it's so good. And again, man, Indian books. Much respect, all the cookbooks here. I like that touch, look at these. Yep, pretty happy with this. Got like a dill and big quiche. I guess I'm strong. Ah, hot. I think I just burnt all my taste buds. Mm, sun dried tomato. A little bread here, a little almost like remoulade sauce on it. Mm, that's really nice. I love that sauce on top. It's like smoky, ketchupy mayo. And look at this, this is a tea time sandwich right here. Look at the thickness on this thing. That is humongous. That is crazy. Ooh, onion pickle. Red bell pepper. Ooh. Looks like there'd be too much bread. It's the perfect ratio. Mm. That is nice. Now we got the dill quiche here. I think it actually has some fish in here. I feel kind of weird using my hand, but I will. Mm. Yeah, it's like dill and like a white fish. Nice white fish, flaky, fresh. Mm. Okay. I'm trying to read the menu from far away. Last one here. This is a little, almost like puff pastry. It's peak inside. Corn, tomato. Put the hat back on. Mm. It's puff pastry, right? So it's like filo dough, almost kind of like a flaky biscuit, but more like puff pastry. <laughs> it's okay. My favorite had to be the big, tall, red one. Okay, round. Oh man, I'm one person. <laughs> Thank you, my brother. Beautiful. Wow. They're very nice. They gave me all the recommendations. He said you gotta try the black chocolate forest cake and the berry gâteau. gâteau. And this is a little cumin cookie. Is that cumin? Cardamom, it's gotta be cardamom. It's gotta be a cardamom cookie. Cardamom cookie that you get in the streets here in Delhi, so I thought that would be fun. But look at this, oh my gosh. The macaron. Little peanut butter cookies, scones, jellies. This is gonna be awesome. I think I'm just gonna try to cut this one in half maybe. Clotted cream that I just spilled everywhere on the table. You know, almost like an orange. Marmalade here. Yeah. Push that together. Look at that. Mm. You know, you think of India, you think of all the rotis and the naans and all the flatbreads. But that high quality wheat, that flavorful wheat that comes from India especially this part of India, also makes delicious cookies and breads. Mm. And probably cake too. Ooh. That is crazy. I've never had a cookie of rosemary on it before. So much rosemary. That's not what I thought it was. 
I'm not a rosemary cookie guy. I like rosemary, not my cookie. There's still a lot of good stuff on here. I think I'm gonna go this tart right here. Maybe a pineapple, maybe it's candied. There's like pineapple on top there. I don't know. Ooh. It's like pineapple upside down cake tart. The meringue is not a meringue actually, it's just like a whip. It's like a light whipped cream, pineapple flavor, a touch of cherry. Mm. For me though, like I'm trying to figure out what flavor this macaroon is gonna be. It's beautiful. It's look at the look how big it is, look how airy and light and loaded with filling. It's matcha. That beautiful bitterness mixing with the sweet, the light. Look at the air pocket. Okay, let's get it. Some chocolate cake. Actually, chocolate's gonna be so heavy. Let's not destroy the palate. Let's keep it right with the berry here. Look at that presentation. Flour, everything. Show that cross section, almost like a light fluff almost. Should be a blueberry flavor here. Okay, a little whipped cream. I don't know where it went. It's like a cloud. You take a bite, it just disappears. <laughs> Chunks of chocolate, almost like another little layer of chocolate. I mean, they go and chocolate out on this. Where are my chocoholics at? Because this is for us right here. This bite is for us. You're gonna have to give me a few seconds. Such a thick, almost like chocolate ganache on top. You can't talk for about a minute or two after taking a bite of that. Ooh. Deep, dark, rich, chocolatey, light cake. Heavy, chocolatey, dark chocolate icing, not too sweet. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The real question for me is, why is nobody at the pool? I can't go now because I probably look like a beached whale tomorrow before I've eaten. I'm feeling slim, I'll go. I'll get out of your way. Thank you guys for the recommendations, everything. Yes, perfect, thank you so much. Oh, what's your name? Yeah, let me get yours too. Nice to meet you, Max. Assistant, just let us know. Just let us know. Yeah, yeah, perfect, man. We, have, we have a cocktail hour as well, 6.30 to 8 o'clock. Are you working? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm doing morning. I'll, I'll see you in the morning if you will. I'll make it a nice cocktail and mock this video tonight. I will have your cocktail later, brother. Thank you. Yes, and I'll see you in the morning. Thank you. Thank you guys, you. hey, appreciate Thank it. You. Raul and Prunet. I hope I got those right. Those two guys, oh, they're clutch. But we will see Raul later. We are going to come back right here for some cocktails at six o'clock. So it's gonna be a little deja vu in this video. Okay, okay. I'm not hating it put together from the market, rocking the shoes, but I hope skinny pants are in fashion in India because well, I was gonna call them like chutney ties, but we're gonna call these the tali ties because <laughs> my thighs be looking thick in it, man. But not bad. Added just a little gold chain for a little accessory. Got the hair out. Shoes looking good. You know, for putting together, not bad. The pants is a little, they a little tight. But other than that, it put the better, not bad, you know. I dress up all right. Good. Man, long time no see. <laughs> long time no see. I've seen your videos. Oh yeah, you've seen it before? The pataya and the bank of the noodles and all. <laughs> I've done some stuff. <laughs> So, what do you recommend? You told me your cocktail. You just better have a look first. Okay. Then I recommend you. I definitely want your recommendation. Look at you. Y'all got all the cheeses, crackers, everything. Oh, wow. 
Beautiful display. So we have three mixes here. Okay. The person guest will come himself. Mm -hmm. They can add his drink. Okay. That added ice, mix it up and drink. Okay. I want what you what you recommend, dog. So for us today, we must try the, the Dental Milk Club. Okay. This is one of the best healing drink here. Okay. Perfect. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna find a spot to sit, and you show me how to do. So. <laughs> Got a great spot over here. Look at this. Just me in the view. Actually, it looks like I should be doing some work here. I'll say one thing about cocktail hour. It'd be great to have somebody to sit with me. <laughs> okay, whiskey cocktail. Perfect. Thank you, brother. Raw was the best. Actually, the service here is like the best. So we got this, got some spicy snacks as well what i got is a reservation to bark tonight one of asia's top 50 best restaurants we're gonna go I'm gonna make a completely different video we will eat at machan for this video which will be tomorrow night so in this one hotel they're just full of high caliber restaurants I, I can tell Raul is a good friend of mine because that is a strong whiskey sour. He's trying to make sure I have a good night tonight. Ooh, nothing like citrus and whiskey. You can peep out the, the, the snack game right here. Indian style, crunchy, spicy, flavored. These look like a win. I gotta figure out where they sell these. I know they're probably just buying them from a convenience store in a bag. But, ooh, that's on point. That texture, churro-like shape. Mm, delicious. Imagine like the cheesiness and powderiness of a Dorito, but with more flavor. Actually, you know what they taste like? You know the Frito Twist, the barbecue flavor? I ain't got no barbecue flavor to them but they are powdered and crunchy and twisted, just like that. Oh no. Let me tell y'all something. That is the gentleman's drink, because it is so strong. I go and put some hairs on your chest, and um, I don't really need any more. Oh. Man, Raul said a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, snacks a little bit. So both the varieties, veg and non-veg, I'll just get you knife and fork. Okay, perfect. Oh man, my buddy Raul was like, don't worry. It's just a little bit. I got two big old plates like this. I'm gonna try a little bit of everything. I really don't wanna waste food. I got like a 10 course meal dinner after this. Thank you, brother. Y'all sell these? These are so good. Man, so good. <laughs> Thank you. I'll work from you to me. Bring you, I'm gonna bring you into me here. I'm gonna this pride little thing in here. And then, oh my gosh, it's all soft. Oh my gosh, now I lost it. <laughs> No, it ain't nothing. It's just all sauce. Ain't nothing wrong with that, though. Mm. Oh, it's kind of like an Indian potato-y mozzarella stick. That's cheese, that's potato. You put that with like this mayonnaise-y, ketchup -y, spicy sauce. You can't go wrong with that. I feel like I just committed a sin. Putting the little pan-seared dumpling Stabbing it with my fork. Mm. I should have made a later dinner reservation because we're going to be full before we even go to dinner. Eggplant? Is this eggplant under here? No, it's like a cracker. It's like a cracker under here, y'all. Okay, it's all right. It's all right. We'll keep it moving. Not my fave. Look at this toast. Almost like a little... No, that cheese is too dry to be like a cottage cheese or something like that. Looks like little tomatoes. They've already peeled the skin of the tomatoes. That detail though. Let me say something. When that tomato burst, that takes some skill to sit there, peel that tomato, and not let them juices leak out. Keep that in there. And it's a big little little appetizer bite. That's a double bite. Mm. This is the real appreciation you have to have for India. Is 
sometimes when you get the nice, nice dining, the food goes down. But the food is always an important part. Whether you're at a cheap hotel, an expensive hotel, like Daba food, street, low, cheap food, or you eat at fine dining, food is always, mmm. This almost looks like a little fish. I think the fish gotta go in again. That same like little mayonnaise-y. Almost like, man, we do this in America too. This type of like ketchup, mayonnaise spicy sauce. Oh, there's chicken. That's fried chicken, boy. It's okay. I have a little bit of chicken teriyaki hitting all in palates and taste buds. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. I've been crazy about the, the non-veg. Now I'll tell you the veg was where it's at. Look at this. This is like fish. Like a little salmon on here. Beautiful. I want a little mint chutney on it. Probably not what it's for, but you know what? After you've had one of these, you really don't care anymore. Mm-hmm. And then last thing right here, I'm gonna get a little chicken meatball. Almost with like a little ketchup sauce. Okay. I'm gonna show y'all the non-veg bite for me. That is an ultra soft, creamy little meatball. What I should have done, get a little extra sauce action. You know, we all love that sauce right here. Double sauce it up. Cause you know what's better than one sauce? Two sauces. Mm. Back from fancy dinner. Oh, that is gonna be one to watch for sure. Just wanted to show you though, bed got made. I screwed that up earlier and they brought me slippers. And they've cleaned up the mess I've already made. And they leave their cards. Thank you. Hi! Oh, wait. These are cards I had earlier. <laughs> oh, the hospitality is unreal here. Unreal. I'm going to bed. I will catch y'all in the morning at the gym because I need it. There's like four or five restaurants in this place. It's so impressive. So, you've probably seen this already. Let's head down to the pool. Just got done with the workout. Couldn't show you because like, <laughs> when pop music and it's super loud, you're just asking for this video to get demonetized. I hope the pool's open actually. Oh, steamy. Morning. Is the pool open? It's open, okay, thank you boss. Nice. Here is amazing, Everybody, have, everybody's just all smiles here. It's, oh, I'm so sorry, it's foggy. Hold on. Okay, hopefully that's better. They keep it so cold in the... Morning, do I just push? Just slide. Slide and push, okay. I'm not smart enough to figure it out. Yeah. Uh, room 903? Nine, Please, let me Okay, okay. Thank you, brother. And here it is. It's all us. There ain't nobody. After a workout, that's what I'm talking about. I think the seat. It's just us and the birds. What's up? Are these crows? What's up, crows? Okay. Every time I see a crow now, or a raven, a raven, it's a raven because Game of Thrones. How could I ever forget? Look at, they got like the beds you can lay out. Let's get a bed. Jacuzzi, changing room. Oh, got the towel. Just me, private pool. Yeah. <laughs> Us in our private pool, let's get in. So, it's actually a few days later. Um, <laughs> it rained so much yesterday, didn't have a chance to hop in the pool. And I did go to breakfast, but 
Uh, the Machan breakfast was nothing special and we've done the eighth floor so much so I didn't do it. But look at this. Man, gorgeous Taj Mahal hotel. The pool, room temperature, water, just a little bit cooler. You get all these beautiful areas to sit and relax. But I think we're just gonna enjoy it. Enjoy swimming all alone. <laughs> There's still monkeys over here. I gotta be careful, I gotta take this with me. I don't need a monkey stealing this. I'd be lost without it. And that will do it. I'm gonna walk to the Metro. I'm gonna make one little stop before I head to the airport and we head to our next city. Gotta get out and use these legs a little bit. So uh, work off some of those meals we had. I hope you enjoyed. It was really, really a great stay at the Taj Mahal Hotel. I think they have one in Dubai as well. So I'd love to experience it, but I'll definitely be back when I'm here in Delhi. Gotta go see my friends at Vark anyways. Show them that I remember their name and test them to see if they remember mine. So we are onward to do our next video.